Друзья, привет! Хай! Мы с вами продолжаем тренировать разговорный английский язык и хотелось бы поговорить про самые сложные в английском языке. Если вам нравится идея данного видео и само видео, то просьба поставить лайк. Окей? Спасибо за поддержку. Действительно, давайте с вами поговорим про самые сложные в английском языке. Что это такое? Ну, я думаю, что было интересно. А, также интересно ваше мнение сейчас и ваше мнение потом. Вы можете прямо сейчас а, в комментарии написать, что вы считаете является самым сложным в английском языке. Напишите. И а, потом а, также можете вы измените ваше мнение. Можете дополнительные комментарии написать. В общем, это очень интересно. Как говорится, let's have a discussion about all this. Let's have a discussion. Давайте с вами у нас будет дискуссия обо всем этом. Let's have a discussion. Let's have a discussion about all this. И действительно, цель данного видео, конечно, во-первых, это вообще на эту тему поговорить, и второе, тренировать разговорный английский язык, Значит, часто проявляем разговорные фразы и выражения. И как раз, let's have a discussion about all this. Так что ждем мы всех комментариев, и давайте вот такое сделаем общение. Что самое сложное? Напишите, let's have a discussion about all this. Ну, я знаю, что это сложно. I know. It isn't so easy to answer this question. I know it isn't. I know it isn't so easy. Это не так легко ответить на этот вопрос. I know it isn't so easy to answer this question. Не так легко ответить на этот вопрос. I know it isn't so easy to answer this question. What can it be? Что это может быть? What can it be? Значит, давайте, что действительно это может быть? Ну, первое. Grammar. Грамматика. Grammar. Next. Значит, vocabulary. Vocabulary – это словарный запас. Vocabulary – словарный запас. Другими словами, new words. New words. Новые слова. New words. What is next? Что дальше? Or what can be next? What can be next? Наверное, speaking. Разговорный английский. Speaking, grammar, vocabulary and speaking. So, так что напишите, please, write in the comments. So, really, what is the most difficult thing about English? Что самое, вы считаете, сложная вещь в плане английского языка? What is the most, the most difficult thing? What is the most difficult thing? Вообще в английском языке, in English. What is the most difficult thing in English? в английском языке, и если, например, пишите grammar, если вы пишете grammar, там грамматика, напишите, что самое сложное из грамматики, vocabulary, что самое сложное из vocabulary, speaking, что самое сложное из speaking. Окей, okay, so, как говорится, я с нетерпением жду ваших комментариев, ваших идей, и вспоминаем такую разговорную фразу, разговорное выражение, значит, look forward to, значит, мы все ждем с нетерпением, we look forward или можно сказать I look forward. Каждый может от себя это сказать. I look forward. I look forward to your comments. To your comments. Ваши комментарии. To your comments. И, конечно, блестящих идей. And brilliant ideas. Ideas – это просто идеи, но важно не просто идея. Вот здесь, я думаю, блестящие идеи. Поэтому давайте напишем comments and brilliant ideas. Brilliant ideas. Итак, что же? Напишите grammar, vocabulary. Or speaking. И что из этого? И может быть or something else. Или что-то еще. Okay, so what is the most difficult thing in English? Может быть в английском языке или касательно в английском языке. Think about English. I look forward to comments and brilliant ideas. Okay, let me express my point of view. Позвольте мне выразить свою точку зрения. Let me express my point of view. Let me express my point of view. Можно сказать, я совершенно убежден, то есть я полностью убежден. I'm absolutely convinced. I'm absolutely convinced. I'm absolutely convinced that it's important, что важно. I'm absolutely convinced that it's important to know the basics of grammar. To know the basics of grammar. Я 
абсолютно уверен, что очень важно знать основу грамматики. To know the basics of grammar. If you want to speak English, если вы хотите говорить по-английски свободно и уверенно. If you want to speak English. If you want uh, to speak English. Соответственно, fluently – это свободно. Fluently. And confidently. And confidently. You really need to know grammar. Вам действительно нужно знать грамматику. You really need. You really need to know grammar. You really need to know grammar. Действительно нужно знать грамматику. I think, я думаю... I think upper intermediate. Я думаю... Грамматику уровня upper intermediate. Upper intermediate. So, I think upper intermediate. So, right. If you want to speak English fluently and confidently, у нас с вами как раз есть видео, как говорить по-английски uh, свободно и уверенно, обязательно посмотрите. И вам нужно знать грамматику. You really need to know grammar. I think upper intermediate. Upper intermediate. I think it's upper intermediate level. Я думаю, что это уровень Upper intermediate. So I think it's upper intermediate. So is it easy or difficult? Легко ли или сложно? Is it easy? Is it easy? Is it easy or difficult? Легко ли или сложно? Is it easy or difficult? Вучи это грамматику. To learn this grammar. Легко ли или сложно? Вучи это грамматику. Is it easy or difficult? To learn this grammar. Really. So, from my experience, I can tell you, исходя из своего опыта, я могу вам сказать, from my experience, from my experience, from my experience, I can tell you, что это сравнительно легко. That it's relatively easy. From my experience, I can tell you, it's relatively easy. Relatively easy. Сравнительно легко. It's relatively easy. You might be afraid. Возможно, вы боитесь. You might be afraid. Чего вы боитесь? You might be afraid of... Там, чего вы, возможно, боитесь? You might be afraid of English tenses. Возможно, вы боитесь английских времен. You might be afraid of English tenses, articles, articles, prepositions, прилогов. Articles, prepositions, предлогов. Дальше, что еще? Какие там еще сложные темы? Prepositions, English tenses, articles, prepositions, phrasal verbs, фразы в глаголах, phrasal verbs, and other things, other things. Please, пожалуйста, please correct me if I am mistaken. Пожалуйста, подправьте меня, если я не прав. Please correct me. If I'm mistaken. I agree with you. Я согласен с вами. I agree with you that these things, that these things, что эти вещи не выучить за один день. I agree with you that these things can be learned in one day. Can be learned in one day or two days or two days. It is impossible. Это невозможно. It isn't possible. Это совершенно ясно. That's absolutely clear. It isn't... Or two days. It isn't possible. That's absolutely clear. That's absolutely... Это совершенно ясно, что это невозможно. That's absolutely clear. However, тем не менее... However... It isn't the most difficult thing. Это не самая сложная вещь. It isn't the most difficult thing. It isn't the most difficult thing. You can disagree. Возможно, вы не согласитесь. You can disagree with me. You can disagree with me. And I know why. Я знаю почему. And I know why. And I know why. И я знаю почему. I'll put. Я это поставлю... Другим образом. То есть скажу другим способом. I'll say it. I'll say it another way. Я скажу это другим способом. 
I'll say it another way. English grammar. English grammar. Right. English grammar. English grammar. Okay. Okay. I'll say it another way. English grammar is the most difficult thing. Английская грамматика – это самая сложная вещь. English grammar is the most difficult thing. Is the most difficult thing. English grammar is the most difficult thing in English. В английском языке. How can it be? Как это может быть? How can it be? First. Вначале я говорю одну вещь. First, I say one thing. First, I say one thing. And then, and then I change my mind very quickly. И затем я меняю свою точку зрения очень быстро. And then I change, and then I change my mind. And then I change my mind very quickly. So, it sounds strange. Это выглядит, это звучит очень странно. It sounds strange. It sounds strange. I want... To tell you, я хочу вам сказать, I want to tell you that I haven't changed my mind, что я не поменял свою точку зрения. I want to tell you that I haven't. I haven't changed my mind. Я не поменял свою точку зрения. I haven't changed my mind. I believe, я верю, я считаю, I believe that English grammar English grammar isn't the most difficult thing in English. Что английская грамматика это не самая сложная вещь в английском языке. I believe that English grammar isn't the most difficult thing in English. English isn't the most difficult thing in English. And at the same time, и в то же время It is, and at the same time, and at the same time, и в то же время оно является. At the same time, it is. Let me tell you what I mean. Позвольте мне вам сказать, что я имею в виду. Let me tell you what I mean. What I mean. English grammar. English grammar. Английская грамматика. English grammar can be the toughest part in English. У нас есть самый difficult, difficult, но чтобы у нас не было слова difficult, мы будем использовать слово tough, трудное, тоже синоним. English grammar can be the toughest part, the toughest part in English. Part in English for beginners and mostly intermediate students. Для новичков for beginners, или можно сказать, для в основном for mostly, или можно сказать mostly for, в основном для. English, part in English mostly, mostly for beginners, в основном для новичков, mostly for uh, beginners and intermediate students, и, соответственно, студентов, у которых средний уровень, and intermediate students, students. Nevertheless, тем не менее, nevertheless, there are more difficult things. Есть более сложные вещи. Nevertheless, there are more difficult things. There are more difficult things. Difficult things. Когда дело доходит для более высоких уровней. Nevertheless, there are more difficult things when it comes. When it comes to high levels. Когда идет, идет до более сложен, сложных уровней, более высоких уровней. If you start learning English, если вы начинаете учить английский язык, if you start learning English, if you start learning English, you mostly need, тебе в основном нужна грамматика, you mostly need grammar, you mostly need grammar, and most common, и... Самые распространенные английские слова and most common English words. В принципе, у нас с вами это есть как раз грам... различные курсы по грамматике. Английская грамматика для начинающих, 150 английских конструкций, 10 тысяч английских слов, это все есть. You most need grammar and most common English words. 
It is believed считается. It is believed. It is believed, что грамматика в английском языке. It is believed that grammar in English. Что грамматика в английском языке. That grammar in English or English grammar. That English grammar. Что грамматика в английском языке is mostly studied. В основном изучается. Is mostly studied. Up to до уровня upper intermediate, up to upper intermediate level. То есть вплоть до уровня выше среднего, up to upper intermediate, up to upper intermediate level. Вплоть до уровня upper intermediate. If your level is upper intermediate, если твой уровень выше среднего, it means if your level is upper intermediate. If your level is upper intermediate, it means the following. Это означает следующее. It means the following. Okay, it means the following. Это означает следующее. Сейчас с вами проверим. Beginners and intermediate students, nevertheless, there are more difficult things when it comes to high levels. If you start learning English, you mostly need grammar and most common English words. It is believed that English grammar is mostly studied up to upper intermediate level. If your level is upper intermediate, it means the following. Okay, I mean strong upper intermediate. Я имею в виду сильный уровень upper intermediate. It means the following. You know English grammar very well. Ты знаешь английскую грамматику очень хорошо. You know English grammar. You know English grammar very well. You know English grammar very well, but no. You know English grammar very well, but you you make some mistakes. Но ты делаешь некоторые ошибки, тем не менее. But you make some mistakes anyway. Anyway, it's because это из-за словарного запаса. Это из-за словарного запаса. It's because of vocabulary. It's because of, это обычный словарный запас. It's usually, it's usually because of vocabulary. It's usually because of vocabulary. Some fixed expressions. В некоторых uh, фиксированных устойчивых фраз выражений some fixed expressions. Collocations. Это collocations. Это устойчивые фразы выражения collocations. Collocations. So the main problem, uh, самая главная проблема, the main problem for advanced students, самая главная проблема для студентов, которые уровня advanced, the, the main problem for advanced students is vocabulary. Vocabulary. Это словарный запас. Vocabulary. It's in the first place. Это самое сложное. It's in the first place. Ты можешь знать английские слова там в отдельности. You can know. You can know. You can know отдельные английские слова. Separate English words. You can know ang. You can know separate English words. But it isn't enough. Но это недостаточно. But it isn't enough. But it isn't enough. You need to know. Тебе нужно знать. You need to know. You need to know how to build. Тебе нужно знать, как строить. How to build. English. Английские фразы и предложения. English phrases. You need to know how to build English phrases and sentences. Более того, moreover. Moreover. Более того, you need to do it. Тебе нужно это сделать. You need to do it like a native speaker. You нужно делать как носитель языка. You need to do it like a native speaker. Like a native speaker. You need to speak English naturally. Тебе нужно говорить по-английски естественно. You need to speak. You need to speak English naturally. Тебе нужно говорить uh, по-английски естественно. You need to speak English naturally. Using, используя, using. 
используя естественные фразы и выражения. Using natural phrases. Using natural phrases. Phrases and expressions. Using natural phrases and expressions. It's also. Также важно, даже желательно знать. It's also desirable. Ну, может просто более слова important сказать. It's also important. It's also important to know. Даже важно знать фразовые глаголы. Phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs. Idioms. Idiomy. Phrasal verbs. Idioms. Phrasal verbs and idioms. Phrasal verbs and idioms. Idioms. So, you need to focus on. Тебе нужно сфокусироваться на. You need to focus on. Нужно сфокусироваться на. Collocations. Collocations. Это устойчивое выражение фразы. Next. Different vocabulary. Словарный запас. Oh, so, collocations, for example, например, там горько разочарован, bitterly disappointed, bitterly disappointed, не просто там, dis, не просто там very sad, там very upset, but bitterly uh, disappointed, там, там, for example, highly qualified, высоко квалифицированный, not just very qualified, but highly qualified, things like this. So, bitterly disappointed, highly qualified, and many other expressions like these ones. So, vocabulary. So, really, you need to have a very rich vocabulary. So, пожалуйста, увеличивайте ваш словарный запас. Enlarge your vocabulary. Enlarge your vocabulary. Enlarge it. Также синонимы записываем. Enrich it. Обогащайте ваш словарный запас. Enrich it. Расширяйте, это же слово widen it. Widen it. If you don't know many words, если вы не будете знать, если вы не будете знать много слов, if you don't know many words, if you don't know many words, you won't understand. Вы не будете понимать. You won't understand. You won't understand native speakers. Вы не будете понимать носители языка. I mean, я имею в виду, I mean, I mean, TV, я имею в виду что-то по телевидению, something on TV, on the radio, на радио, something on TV, on the radio, and so on, и так далее, and so on, и так далее. So it's very important to know English words. So if you don't know many words, you want to understand native speakers, I mean, something on TV, on the radio, and so on. Okay, so you need to do it like a native speaker. You need to speak English naturally using natural phrases and expressions. It's also important to know phrasal verbs and idioms. You need to focus on collocations, bitly disappointed, highly qualified, and so on. Vocabulary, enlarge, enrich, widen it. If you don't know many words, you won't understand native speakers. I mean, something on TV, on the radio, and so on. including real speech. Including real speech real speech или там живое общение including real communication живое общение including real speech real speech and communication so when when you are talking to native speaker okay right okay to sum up подводя итог to sum up I can come to the following conclusion. Я могу прийти к следующему выводу. I can come to the following conclusion. To sum up, I can come to the following conclusion. Я могу прийти uh, к следующему выводу. I can come to the following conclusion. So, to sum up, I can come to the following conclusion. Grammar. Грамматика. Grammar is in the first place. Грамматика на первом месте. Grammar is in the first place for beginners. For beginners and intermediate students. В то время как 
and intermediate students. Whereas, whereas означает в то время как. Whereas, whereas vocabulary, whereas vocabulary. I mean, whereas vocabulary is the most. Это самая важная вещь. Is the most important thing. Is the most important thing. Is the most important thing for advanced students. For advanced students. For advanced students. Okay, yeah. So, what else? Yeah, speaking. Let's talk about speaking to. Давайте сами также говорим о разговор на английском языке. Let's talk about speaking to. Let's talk about speaking to. It's also of great importance. Это также очень большой значимости. It's also of great. It's also of great importance. It's also of great importance. To have perfect speaking skills, чтобы иметь там идеальные навыки разговорного английского, to have perfect speaking skills, to have perfect speaking skills, to have perfect speaking skills. В английском языке in English, you need to have, тебе нужно, you need to have great confidence. Тебе нужно иметь огромную уверенность. You need to have great confidence. Great confidence. It's often a result. Это часто результат. It's often a result. It's also a result of lots of practice. Это часто результат очень большой практики. It's often a result of lots of practice. Practice. И отличного знания and perfect knowledge and perfect knowledge and perfect knowledge of grammar and English words английских слов фраз phrases phrases words and phrases английских слов и фраз words мы их называем collocation words and collocations. Это вопрос практики. It's a matter of practice. 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 There is no doubt. Нет сомнений. There is no doubt. There is no doubt. Нет сомнений. That чтобы говорить по-английски свободно и без ошибок, that if you want if you want to speak English if you want to speak English confidently значит, получается confidently, это уверенно if you want to speak English confidently and correctly and correctly тебе нужно сделать намного больше you need to do much more You need to do much more. Тебе нужно сделать намного больше. You need to know. Тебе нужно. You need to know grammar. You need to know grammar. Тебе нужно знать грамматику. Ты не сможешь обойтись без нее. You won't do without it. You won't do without it. You also need. Тебе также нужно. You also need to have. A very large vocabulary. You also need to have a very large vocabulary. Тоже нужно иметь очень обширный словарный запас. So is the second thing? It's the second thing. Is the second thing. Это вторая вещь. Last but not least. Последнее, но не самое маловажное по значимости. You need to have. Вам нужно иметь. You need to have lots of practice. Вам нужно иметь очень много практики. You need to have lots of practice. I think. Я думаю. I think it is impossible. Невозможно. I think it is impossible. You know, 
to speak English. It is impossible to speak English perfectly. Совершенство. If you lack practice, если, у вас не, не, если вам не хватает лек, это не хватать, не хватки, не хватать. If you lack practice, if you lack practice, I mean, я имею в виду, I mean, real communication. Я имею в виду живое общение. I mean, real communication. Real communication. Это желательно. It's desirable. It's desirable. It's desirable. So, there is no doubt that if you want to speak English confidently and correctly, you need to do much more. You need to know grammar. You won't do without it. You won't do without it. You also, you also need to have a very large vocabulary. Yeah, is the second thing. Last but not least, you need to have lots of practice. I think it is impossible to speak English perfectly if you lack practice. I mean, real communication. Right, so, yeah. In other words, другими словами, in other words, in other words, to speak English, to speak English really well, to speak English really well, чтобы говорить по-английски действительно хорошо, you need Тебе нужно, you need to know, тебе нужно, чтобы ты мог делать намного больше. Можешь сказать, you need to be able, you need to be able to do much more, to do much more. Okay, so it's our conclusion, это наш вывод. It's our conclusion. It's our conclusion. Conclusion. I don't want to tell you. Conclusion. Я не хочу вам сказать. I don't want to tell you that it's difficult. I don't want to tell you that it's difficult. Что сложно сложно преодолеть языковой барьер. I don't want to tell you that it's difficult. I don't want to tell you that it's difficult to overcome to overcome the language barrier. Что преодолеть языковой барьер. I don't I don't want to tell you that it's difficult to overcome the language barrier. Это достаточно легко. It's quite easy. Это достаточно легко. What I mean is, что я имею в виду, what I mean is, what I mean is that, что я имею в виду заключается в том, что, what I mean is that, if you, what I mean is that, you need, тебе нужно, you need, you know, to study English. To study English much harder. Изучать английский намного более усерднее. To study English much harder. If you want to achieve much more. Если ты хочешь достичь намного больше. If you want to achieve. If you want to achieve much more. Is that all? Is that all? Actually not. Это все в действительности нет. Actually not. We forgot, мы забыли, we forgot one very important thing. We forgot one, мы забыли одну очень важную вещь. We forgot one very important thing. We forgot one very important thing. What is it? What is it? Do you remember our first question? Вы помните наш с вами первый вопрос? Do you remember? Do you remember our first question? Our first question. Do you remember our first question? Okay, let's get back to it. Давайте сами к этому вернемся. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Let's get back. Get back – это возвращаться. Let's get back to it. Давайте uh, к этому сами вернемся. Let's get back to it. So, I know, so what can it be? What's the most difficult thing? Grammar, vocabulary, speaking. So, we've chosen speaking. Or something else. Или что-то еще. What can it be? Let's get back. In conclusion, в заключение, я хочу сказать, я хотел бы сказать, in conclusion. In conclusion. 
In conclusion, I'd like to tell you. In conclusion, I'd like to tell you that speaking isn't the most difficult thing in English. Что разговорный английский это не самое сложное вообще в английском языке. I'd like to tell you that speaking isn't the most difficult thing. Isn't the most difficult thing. It's easy. Легко. It's easy. Достаточно легко. It's quite easy. It's quite easy to speak English. Говорить по-английски свободно. To speak English fluently and correctly. Fluently is correctly. You might think. You might think that there is some contradiction. You might think that there is some contradiction. Вы можете подумать, что здесь есть некоторое противоречие. You might think that there is some contradiction. But I don't think so. Но я не думаю так. But I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean another thing. Я имею в виду другую вещь. I mean another thing. Можно сказать, я твердо верю. I firmly believe. Это вот как раз collocation, такая устойчивая фраза, о чем мы говорили. Можно сказать просто I think, можно сказать I believe, можно сказать I firmly believe. То есть я твердо верю. I firmly believe that the most difficult thing, что самая сложная вещь, I firmly believe that the most difficult thing is, is to choose. Это выбрать. Is to choose the right method. The right method. The right method of learning English. Of learning English. Это выбрать правильный способ, правильный метод. The right method. The right way. The right way. Значит, соответственно, метод это метод, way это способ. The right method, the right way of learning English. If you do it, если вы это сделаете, if you do it, It will be very easy. Будет очень легко для вас. It will be very easy. It will be very easy for you to improve, улучшить свой английский. It will be very easy for you to improve English. I know. I know. Я знаю. I know that lots of people, что множество людей, lots of people learn English for years что многие люди изучают английский годами. I know that lots of people learn English. Learn English for years. Without success. Без успеха. Without success. Wasting time. Тратя время и деньги. Wasting time and money. Тратя время и деньги. Wasting time and money. We need to have a result. Нам нужен результат. We need to have a result. Нам нужно иметь результат. That's why. Поэтому. That's why. I created this channel. Поэтому я создал данный канал. That's why I created this channel. That's why I created this channel. It has helped. Он помог очень многим людям. It has helped lots of people. Lots of people, and I hope, and I hope, и я надеюсь, this channel, this channel help you. Этот канал поможет достичь ваши цели. And I hope this channel help you, will help you, and I hope this channel will help you, will help you achieve your aims. Achieve your aims. Как говорится... I wish your dreams. I wish your dreams come true. Я желаю, чтобы ваши мечты стали реальностью, притворились в жизнь. I wish your dreams come true. Okay, let's have a proverb. If you do it, it will be very easy for you to improve English. Улучшить английский, to может быть улучшить свой английский, to improve your English. To improve your English. I know that lots of people learn English for years. 
Without success, wasting time and money, we need to have a result. That's why I created this channel. It has helped lots of people and I hope the channel will help you achieve your aims. I wish your dreams come true. Да, отличная идея, so brilliant ideas. Спасибо за ваши комментарии, thanks for your comments, comments, thanks for your support. Теперь с вами все повторим и проверим и закрепим. Okay, so let's have a discussion about all this. I know it isn't so easy to answer this question. What can it be? I mean, the most difficult thing in English. Grammar, vocabulary, new words or speaking. What is the most difficult thing in English? Yeah, sorry for my misprints. Yeah, really. What is the most difficult thing in English? I look forward to your comments. I look forward to your comments and brilliant ideas. I look forward to your comments and brilliant ideas. Let me express my point of view. I'm absolutely convinced that it's important to know the basics of grammar. If you want to speak English fluently and confidently, you really need to know grammar, I think, upper intermediate. Is it easy or difficult to learn this grammar? From my experience, I can tell you it's relatively easy. You might be afraid of English tenses, articles, prepositions, phrasal verbs and other things. Please, correct me if I'm mistaken. I agree. Yeah, I agree with you that these things can be learned in one day or in two days. In one day or in two days or in two days. It is impossible. So I agree with you that these things can't be learned. Can't be learned in one day or two days. It is impossible. That's absolutely clear. However, it isn't the most difficult thing. You can disagree. You can disagree with me and I know why. You can disagree with me and I know why. I'll say it another way. English grammar is the most difficult thing in English. How can it be? Firstly, I say one thing and then I change my mind very quickly. It sounds strange. I want to tell you that I haven't changed my mind. I believe that English grammar isn't the most difficult thing in English. And at the same time it is. Let me tell you what I mean. English grammar can be the toughest part. English grammar can be the toughest part in English. Mostly, right, mostly English grammar can be the toughest part in English, mostly for beginners and intermediate students. Nevertheless, there are more difficult things when it comes to high levels. If you start learning English, you mostly need grammar and most common English words. It is believed that English grammar is mostly studied up to upper intermediate level. If your level is upper intermediate, it means the following. You know English grammar very well, but you make some mistakes anyway. It's usually because of vocabulary, some fixed expressions, collocations. The main problem for advanced students is vocabulary. It's in the first place. You can all separate English words, but it isn't enough. You need to know how to build English phrases and sentences. Moreover, you need to do it like a native speaker. You need to speak English naturally using natural phrases and expressions. It's also important to know phrasal verbs and idioms. You need to know, focus on collocations such as bitly disappointed, highly qualified, and so on. Vocabulary, enlarge and enrich, widen it. If, if you don't know many words, you want to understand native speakers. I mean, some on TV, on the radio, and so on, including real speech and communication. To sum up, I can come to the following conclusion. Grammar is in the first place for beginners and intermediate students, whereas vocabulary is the most important thing for advanced students. Let's talk about speaking too. It's also of great importance to have perfect speaking skills in English. You need to have great confidence. It's often a result of lots of practice and perfect knowledge of grammar and English words and collocations. And collocations. It's a matter of practice. There is no doubt that if you want to speak English confidently and correctly, you need, right, correctly, you need to do much more. You need to know grammar. Yeah, you need to know grammar. You need to know grammar. You won't do without it. You also need to have a very large vocabulary. It's the second thing. Last but not least, you need to have lots of practice. I think it is impossible to speak English perfectly if you lack practice. I mean real communication. It's desirable. In other words, to speak English really well, you need to be able to do much more. It's our conclusion. I don't want to tell you that it's difficult to overcome the language barrier. It's quite easy. 
What I mean is that you need to say English much harder if you want to achieve much more. Is that all? Actually not. We forgot one very important thing. What is it? Do you remember our first question? Let's get back to it. In conclusion, I'd like to tell you that speaking isn't the most difficult thing. It's quite easy to speak English fluently. It's English fluently and correctly. And correctly. You might think you might think that there is some contradiction, but I don't think so. I mean another thing. I firmly believe that the most difficult thing is to choose the right method, the right way of learning English. If you do it, it will be very easy for you to improve your English. I know that lots of people learn English for years without success, wasting time and money. We need to have a result. That's why I created this channel. It has helped lots of people and I hope this channel will help you achieve your aims. I wish your dreams come true. Okay? Thanks for watching and thanks for your support. Bye!